All right, guys, got a special one for you today, the 11th Hard Request Lights by Journey. And I really think you're going to like this one. I'm going to stand up to play it because I really like this song. Here we go, Lights by Journey. so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my easy piano lessons. Now this one is very special uh, because I like this song so much. Someone hired me to do this one. But I'm going to show you how to do it four different ways and they're all very cool. I spent a lot of time on this one, a lot of hours. Uh, I put the guitar parts in there. Man, I do the guitar solo, the, the kick and rock guitar solo. I did that on piano and it sounds awesome. Uh, that's in the lessons. But I put the melody in the right hand. I'll show you uh, a couple of ways to do that. We can play it like this. And also, we also will put it up an octave. I'll also show you how to play it even bigger than that, like that. Like this. And we, of course, we put the piano fills in there. But I've kind of arranged it to include all of those things to just give you an outstanding. Uh, arrangement to play and people love this at parties and gatherings uh, you you can play this your whole life everyone will just uh, love it but uh, uh, you know including the guitar part and, and and melody in the right hand but also I show you how to play it in case you just want to cover the song and you want to play just what the pianos doing I'll show you that as well so it's really four ways to do it on here and I, I do the solo and it's 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 great fun anyway uh, I put part one for free on YouTube. The rest of the lessons for this are on my site, website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on iPad and all mobile devices. Uh, I got thousands of other lessons on there, just like this one that I've made for the past eight years. I'm a, an online piano teacher. It's what I do for a living. I have another website called seancheek.com if you're interested in learning how to read music. It's just kind of a boot camp series to get you uh, reading music better and faster. That's another website I have. It's called seancheek.com. But this lesson series, uh, along with the other by ear popular songs, Web Piano Teacher. Best place to get a hold of me, Facebook. Uh, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I'm also on Twitter. My name is Web Piano Teacher on there as well. Now I'm offering a special offer on this. We're going to get to the part one lesson here in just a minute. <laughs> but I'm going to try this. A lot of you would, would rather than have a website membership, you just like the single songs and you'd want to just purchase just, just a certain amount of lessons from me for download instead of the website membership. I'm going to try that on a limited basis. Now, the most economical way is, of course, my website. But uh, it'll be more expensive this way, but uh, if you'd like to order just a single lessons or something like that, uh, just send me an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com and let me know what you're wanting and then I'll give you a quote if you'd like to, to try it that way so where you can download the lesson and have it uh, for yourself. Just let me know uh, what, what uh, song lessons you're interested in or what lessons. Now let's get to the free part one and I know that was a long... Uh, intro there with all the talking but <clears throat> so it's instead of just putting the piano part here we're doing that this awesome guitar and we're combining the piano part as well because we know the piano does this a lot of the times so what I did is I put that in the left hand a little bit lower and then I put the guitar part in the right hand I'm a guitar player as well, so I kind of have so, a little intuition on, on how to arrange things. Because it's not just playing exactly what they do, you have to arrange it in a way that's going to sound good for solo piano. And that's what I've tried to do. So we start off with E, F sharp, and we're going to flip it with one and two. Then I'm going to go A and D, so with three and five. Then I'm going to do this, because that's what the guitar does next. D and F sharp, I'm going to flip it to E. And then go back to D and then play an A. So that's what the guitar does. Now the left hand is going to do this, this kind of a deal. D, D, A, F sharp, D, A. Okay, let's look at that again. D, D, A, F sharp, D, A. To figure that, you may want to go 5, 1, 
five, one, two, five. Or you may want to go, I don't know, there are other ways to do it. Uh, that's probably the generally, general way that everybody will want to do. So we put our hands together on this first box and we have this. on that and then we'll do this. So this is just a chord to fill out that downbeat, okay? So it's D F sharp A uh, and then the guitar does this. -da. So E and F sharp together with two and three. Flip it to D. Uh, the left hand is going to go B D A F sharp D A. So you can do the same fingering. Five, one, five, one, two, five. But we have don't play this too loudly because it's just a placeholder, okay? So if we start from the beginning and tie it together, we have... Okay, so this is a... Uh, take a little work. Once we get to the melody in the right hand, it gets a little easier. But this intro is just a little bit tricky. Uh, one more time. Uh, and then we're going to have... So it's similar to the first measure, just a, just a hair different, but we have E, F sharp, quick, then he doesn't do the A, D, it just holds that, and then we do D and F sharp, and we flip it to E, and then D, A, okay? The left hand is doing the same thing it did in measure one. So we have, bring out the right hand, try not to play the left hand too loudly. Okay, this is in 6A. That's why we have the left hand doing what it's doing. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but I had to do that so that we would have that, that feeling of, of the, what the piano's doing in this and the guitar. I wanted both those, the soul of the guitar and the soul of the piano, to be melded here. And so that's what we've gone for. Now let's do the first three boxes. And go. Guitar does. Remember, keep that right hand louder than the left hand, or it's not going to quite sound right. If it doesn't quite sound right to you, that's probably the reason is that your balance is off. You're playing your left hand too loudly. A, C sharp, A with one, two, one. Then we're going to go. Now, we hear the guitar go. Dun -dun -dun. C sharp, D, C sharp. But instead of doing this, instead of going C sharp, D, C sharp, why don't you try this? Hold, play the C sharp and then just kind of. Flick the D. And then the C sharp still going. It's a little, it, it finesses it a little more that way. If you can't do it, it's okay to go. But if you can go like that, so you have uh, just a little smoother. Because that's what the guitar do, is doing anyway. He's holding a C sharp, and then he's just fretting the D with another finger with the left hand, and then coming off of it. And so if you do that on piano, you get that smoother that way. So one, two, three. On the left hand we'll do low A, then I'm going to come up to this A, and then do E, and do A, then back down to E, back down to A. Alright, so you'll have uh, hands together. One, two, we'll do that again. Okay, the next measure we'll have A, D, and then so that's going to be E, F sharp, and A together with two, three, five. And I'm going to flip it to D. Okay, left hand has B, B, D, F sharp, D, B. Five, one, three, two, three, five. So hands together. Okay. And then C, E, C, and then C, E, A, C, E, A together. Left hand will have C, G, C, E, C, G. So, let's start right here. I have, okay, let's start right here and go to the end. And a good rule of thumb is to accent the downbeat in 6-8 because then you really feel the, the,
the strength of that first of the measure. Let's play the whole thing at a slow tempo, okay? lessons on the website. There's a lot more lessons. I've already done them, but it took a long time. You've got maybe, uh, probably about six lessons total. I'm just guessing I can't, didn't count them all, but, and they're just full of good stuff of different ways to play this to uh, impress your friends and have a good time and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy it, and I will talk to you later. Again, just email me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com for that single song lesson if you're wanting to do that on, on this song or any others. Uh, We'll try that out. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.